and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the best wireframe look for your showreels. I'll be setting up a play blast that will just give you great results. Okay so let's say that we've finished our shot and we want to play blast it. We've got everything in our scene now. So if we just go to our panels perspective we'll just look through our camera and we should have our undistorted plate on here. So if we scrub for our timeline we can see everything's working but because we want this for our showreels we want to make it look as nice as possible so the first thing that we can do is go up to our renderer select viewpoint 2.0 select the box and if you just scroll all the way down to anti-aliasing select smooth wireframe and select multi-sample anti-aliasing and you can crank it up if you want. And now you can see that your wireframe is looking really nice. And if you scrub your timeline, you can see you're not getting any anti-aliasing or jaggedy edges. So the next thing we'll do, you may have like flickering parts here as well, and we can remove those with the clipping plane. So if you select your camera, Go to your camera shape, go to your near clipping plane here and change it to 0 0.1 and that's reduced it quite a bit. But this is probably because maybe that geometry is poking out slightly. So because it's fewer reels, let's just right click and select edge. And if you just double click on that and select the edge loop, and without having to go into perspective you can just press B for soft selection and we can just ever so slightly tuck that in I know we shouldn't be moving it but because it's for your reels and we're only really moving it slightly it'll be fine so we're just gonna go around and we're just gonna very slightly move it in and now if we just slap it back we can already see that the whole thing just looks much nicer straight away. So it's a complete um, personal choice. If, because you, it's quite hard to see the wireframe render, you can also, if you select your set geo group, go to your channel box layer editor, and you can go down to layers. And if you click this little square box with the circle, you can add that now to a layer, so you can turn it off and on. And you can change it to reference, so now you can click on it and, well, you can't click on it basically, it's locked there forever. But if we select this little box here, we can now choose a range of colours. Not a huge range of colours, but you can pick and choose. So, let's say we wanted green. We turn it off reference. Now a wireframe's green and you can see how much clearer that is so that's completely out of your choice um, you can have it whatever color you want but it's probably quite important to be consistent through all your shots so you can have it pink if you want or anything like that pink's probably not a great color because it's quite harsh on the eyes but let's just go with green right so we've put it in a group um, in a layer, sorry, and we've just changed the colour of it green. And we'll just actually just rename it to wire. Just so you know, that's all it's there for. So if we click here. We can now see that our wireframe is looking really nice. Yeah, so our next option would be to go to and actually set up our play blast. So our plate at the moment is a, a UHD, which is 3840 by 2160. It's probably quite large for um, a wireframe play blast, but you, you're more, it won't take very long to play blast out. In fact, well, we can, we'll do it anyway. So let's go to, to our render settings, which is this little clacker board here and the cog. And you should have these render settings now. 
So if we scroll down, mine's already at 1080, so you can either have yours at 3840 by 2160, or because it's half of it, 1920 by 1080. And that will work fine because it's exactly half of the resolution. And we want to make sure that we set these because this is what we're going to be play blasting. So if we close that now, we can cl right click. So if we right click here, then you have your play blast options. So if we click on the little square, we can now have these, um, we have these options. So you might have all these ticked or something. So I always uncheck them. And you can choose your image. I would do an image. So, because getting um video files like AVIs out of uh, Play Blast isn't fantastic. And um, it's always safe to do JPEGs. But you can do JPEGs, TIFFs, or whatever you like, basically. But I'm going to do mine as JPEGs. And you might have from window, but I'm going to use from render settings. So now I'm going to play blast from here. So I'm going to go browse. And I'm just going to P blast. And you need to make sure you change your alias PIX to JPEG. Otherwise it will just won't work. So if you select save. So now we're pretty much done. So we'll select play blast. In fact, I'll just cancel that because I just want to make sure. So I've just canceled that. So you also need to make sure, because I know some of you probably like working in here or you've got these on. You need to make sure that these are all off. Otherwise, you're gonna, it's going to play blast with it. You want to make sure none of these are on. So turn all these off. So it should look like this. And you probably also want to hide your locators. Because we don't need those. We're just looking for the wireframe. So we've hidden our locators and we've turned all this off. We can now right click, click on the box and just check our settings it's from the render settings again and we'll just play blast. Take a while. Cool. So that's play blast that and that's saved. What I can do, I can just, don't know, just play blast it again. Just so we can view it now without me having to open it up. open up
Looks like a wall to cash. And now this is what our play blast will look like. And you can see that's looking really nice and smooth. We've got no flickering or anything like that. So that's just for your wireframe. Like you can do cones as well. Um, but if I was doing cones, I will do a slightly different way. So what I'll do first, I'll just hide my set geo. Press H to hide it. And I'll unhide my uh, point group. I'm just going to select all my points. I'm just going to go over to my little tab, my custom tab for this. And I've got a cone script that you guys can just have. I'll, I'll probably just put it in my gum ridge or we've just put it in the description. Um, and select cones. And now that's created a load of cones for me. So if I go into my cones, I can just select them all. And you can scale them up to whatever size you like. And you can see I've probably got some doubled up cones here from where I've done my lineup points so I can just delete any doubled up ones because we don't really need them um, we don't need any ones that have got double in the areas and we can just scrub through and we can have a look so completely up to you how big you want them obviously you don't want them ginormous so you don't see anything like that's a bit ridiculous but um, you want a good reasonable size so I'm just going to make mine around that big. And what I'll do next, I'll just select all my track cones. And I'm just going to add a new material. Put a Lambert on them. And I'll just change my Lambert to a red. But when I'm doing cones, I don't actually want it transparent. I just want them laid over the top. So... I'm going to go back to my camera. I'm going to deselect them, sorry. I'm going to go back to my camera. You can select the camera icon or go view, select camera. And I'm going to go back to my image plane. And I'm going to change my alpha gain back to 1. And it'll all disappear, don't worry. Then I'll scroll down and go to my placement depth. And I'll just change this to 1000. So now we can see our solid cones. So we can also now turn our wireframe shaded off. But we also don't want this as well. So we can go to lighting, flat lighting, and now everything's flat lighting and it just looks like 2D cones. So it's much easier to see stuff. So you can either do that like that, or if you really want, you can still do it over the top of the wireframe, but um I always prefer the wireframe because it's just easier. Cones just, just it doesn't it just shows you that you've got cones everywhere. Cones are still good, but it always looks better with um a bit of wireframe. So I'll right click and I'll just play blast again. And you can select save and save it somewhere else, but I'll just play blast it so we can see. Oh I'll just cancel that. So when you're play blasting, make sure you turn your points off as well. Because you don't, you don't want your points in there as well. Because it's just, you don't need them. You want to make it look as nice as possible. So right click and go play blast again. See, it's cashing out the frames now. And you can see it's all looking pretty good. It's all quite clean, crisp. We've not got any sort of weird artifact stuff going on.
And this way it just looks nicer. But you can pick either way. These are some small tips to sort of get the best out of some basic play blasts. Cool. So now if you wanted both, you'd have to do them separately. So if you wanted these cones over the previous wireframe render, you'd have to go to show and turn off your... You can either turn off your image plane here, or you can turn it off in there. And you want to press Alt B to change the background color. So you should look like this. And you can right click, go to Play Blast, and you can change your encoding to PNG. And PNG saves an alpha out with you. We can turn views off because we don't want to see the view either. So when you do a PNG, it will save all the alpha view. And you can overlay this on the top. So I'll just save that. Um, save it. Canes. I'll make sure I change my file type to PNG as well. I click save, play blast. And this will only play blast out the cones. Everything else will be an alpha. So if you did want to use these cones over top of your wireframe, this would be the easiest and quickest way to do it without having to render it. You don't need to render any of this stuff. You can get perfectly good uh, play blasts. So that's done. We can show our image plane. I'm just, and I'll stick my cones under my match move. I can hide those. And I'll just put my camera back to normal now. So I'll select the camera. Go to my image plane shape. Change my emplacement, change it back to one. Then go to my alpha gain, I'll change it back to 0 0.7. Then I'll unhide my set geo. my lighting back on default lighting and wireframe on shaded and that's all back to normal so now we can overlay our cones onto here if we wanted to like I say you don't have to but it gives you the best of both worlds so um yeah we're pretty much done with this um I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and just getting nice clean play blasts um if you enjoyed this tutorial hit that like button and subscribe for more like this